<laughs> oh my gosh. I've never seen my hair look like this. I don't even know what to think of it. Hey guys, my name is Juliana Palencia, aka GGB, and today I will be switching hair routines with Lisa. For me and Lisa, we'll be doing the challenge where we swap hair routines. So I'm going to be trying out all of the products that Lisa uses on her hair, the amount she uses, how she applies them, and pretty much do her identical hair routine to my hair. So I have used some of the products that Lisa uses. However, I apply a ton of products to my hair. She applies a lot less product than me and then also her products are a lot lighter than the ones that I use. Lisette is one of my favorite YouTubers I've met. She's just so fun. It's such a real and down-to-earth person. So if you like to see her hair routine, definitely check that out. I'll leave the link to it down in the description box below. And if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and you can hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more from me. So for my curly hair routine, I like to use the Diva Curl Decadence line. I use the No Poo and also the One Condition Decadence. So I guess I'm going to take the Diva Curl No Poo Decadence and... I actually already used this exact product in my most recent wash and go routine, so I already know what to expect from this. So Lisette says that she actually detangles with the cleanser, but I'm going to save that for the conditioning because the cleanser, although it has slip, it doesn't have enough slip for me to fully detangle my hair with it. So next, I'm going to take my Diva Curl One Condition Decadence. Lizette detangles with her Denman brush. Um, I haven't used this thing in a while. It's actually pretty gross. So I'm going to have to clean this. So I'm going to add a bit more. This bottle is kind of expensive, so it breaks my heart to use that much. <laughs> part of the routine wasn't that off, but I feel like these next few steps are completely different from my hair routine. Once I'm out of the shower, I like to use my Prakashi Nectar from Carol's Daughter. This is a leave-in, and I just use about a quarter size amount, and I just put it all throughout my hair. And I actually have used this before, but Lisette only uses a quarter sized amount, and I have a lot of hair. Like, I have a whole lot. So, I'm kind of nervous about this quarter size amount. I'm going to just use this much and put it all over my hair. Oh my gosh. I feel like I have whole sections of hair that just didn't get the product. And then next, I don't even know if I can do this, is to use the Denman brush to break the product through. But I literally have no, it feels like I have no product on my actual hair. <laughs> but I'm just gonna wet my hair again and see what happens. So Lissette's probably onto something because this is actually working much better than I thought it would. The front part of my hair is the loosest part, but I'm more so frightened about this back portion. a little bit more water back here. So here's how it looks. It's like really, really clumped together and kind of frizzy in the back. The next product is something I would never, ever, ever use on my hair. Not in a million years. But I'm going to use it today because Lissette uses it on her hair. With my hair soaking wet, I like to use my Diva Curl B Leave-In and apply this on top of the leave-in conditioner. Miracle Curl Plumper for texture and volume. So, my hair is already really, really dense and really, really thick. Um, I'm actually kind of scared at how this will go, um, but Lissette uses it, so I'm going to try it out and take a bit i'm not used to using such small amounts but i'm going to take a bit of this and apply it all over my hair this is actually much thicker than i thought it'd be i thought it'd be like very liquidy and like literally run down my hand so throughout her 
whole hair routine. She's spraying her hair with a water bottle to keep it wet. She says the wetter the better. And that's actually really smart because I like to work my product on dripping wet hair. So I think it's a really good idea that she actually keeps adding water throughout her whole hair routine. My hair is still soaking wet. I use the Ultra Defining Gel, also from Diva Curl, and I just apply this all throughout my curls. I just rake it through. I don't section my hair, and I just apply it all throughout. So she doesn't section her hair while using this. She just puts it all over her hair, and I'm big on sectioning. I feel like that gives me more definition, and I can apply a lot more product that way, but I'm just gonna do it this way. This smells so good. Oh my gosh. This one is a lot lighter too than a typical styler, but I actually feel like it is giving some weight to my hair. Uh, maybe because I'm using a little bit more too, but it's the first product that I feel like is giving my hair some weight. The next she scrunches up to encourage the curls to form. I never ever scrunch my hair. I don't think that's going to do much to my hair, except I feel like it might make it a bit frizzy and more shrunken. So next she fingers coils around three to four curls in the front. Because the front of my hair actually gets really frizzy, so finger coiling it is actually really, really smart. And she also finger coils some on this side as well. I do my edges and after I'm done, I like to use my diffuser and diffuse on low heat, low air, and I like to diffuse my hair by flipping it this way, this way, forward, and then fluffing it out once I'm done. And she uses her Dyson Supersonic to diffuse her hair. And also she flips her hair a lot when she diffuses her hair and scrunches it up like this. I would never do that to my hair. It already has lots of shrinkage right now and it's dripping wet. So scrunching it up and flipping my hair typically makes it really frizzy and shrunken. So let's see. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I've never seen my hair look like this. I don't even know what to think of it. This looks like I have a completely different haircut than my current haircut. I, I felt like by diffusing it that way, I'm I was literally squishing it closer and closer to my scalp. My hair already shrinks up a lot when it's drying, but now it's even more shrunken up. <laughs> Although, I must say, my curls are really really defined from those products i was expecting like a huge first of all but my curls actually did really well with the products i have so much definition it's just that it's very shrunk enough so it doesn't really have as much volume as it usually would the last step is to fluff her hair she uses her fingers i use a pick but lissette uses her fingers and she flips her hair and kind of like massages her scalp So here are the final results. So first off, my hair smells so good. Um, my curls are actually really defined. It's just that I don't have much volume and my hair is really, really shrunk enough. Another thing is that I feel like the products and the amount that I use are a little light for my hair. My hair doesn't feel as soft and moisturized as it usually feels, but it doesn't feel dry either. But yeah. Here is my hair using Lisette's hair routine. So I really loved how much definition I had with my hair. So my hair gets lots of shrinkage, so I think that just the act of diffusing it just kind of squish it up even more. But overall, I actually really liked the definition that I had, and it was kind of a new look for my hair because I like my hair really big, and so it was a lot different to have it that way. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think of the results below. And I hope you all have a great day. Bye.